Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. The twists and turns of Winter Wild Cards just continue because we've actually got cards coming into packs today as a part of a Winter Best of re-release, kind of like Black Friday where the promo starts the day before like the real promo begins. That's what is happening today, and we have to talk a lot about the market today, guys, especially updating you on the crashing prices that are still following this game. But what is going to happen today with it being such a big day? And of course, tomorrow with the start of Winter Wild Cards, will there be some prices that get too low that we can buy up? We'll talk about that in today's video. And will we finally see Player of the Month Mbappe today? And what else we see today on probably a busy Thursday, including a new season in FC24. There is so much to go over, so let's get into it. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. Let's go over yesterday's SBC content really quickly. There's not a lot to cover in SBC. Specifically, we did have a player SBC. It was Zubal Dia, a very cheap card. I mean, guys, to be honest, this SBC is 15, 16,000 coins. And it's a card that a lot of people are probably just getting done with some extra, I guess, 285s. And then the rest of the squad being 81s and 82s to get it completed. It's like cheaper than an 88 rated fodder. And it does have jockey playstyle plus, so maybe try a game with him or two. But very cheap SBC, SBC, just nice to do because it is cheap fodder, to be honest. We also had the Wesley Schneider Hero Challenge, which was the final SBC challenge as a part of that completionist objective. So GG's uh, if you got that done and got all those completed because I sure didn't do any of those SBCs. I, I didn't put any of my fodder into that. It was all going into player picks. Yesterday's content really took off though with evolutions. We've had so many evolutions guys this week. It's actually crazy, but I think it's EA preparing for the holiday period and they prepared decently well, I think, because this evolution yesterday kind of fixed the problem that we talked about a couple of days ago. It didn't really fix it that great, but it does finally give us an upgrade for those cards that we were saying we couldn't upgrade before. Remember when the FC Founders 2 evolution dropped and we were like, we can't upgrade Darwin. We can't upgrade Ver uh, Werner, Alvarez, all those different cards. Well, this kind of fixes that, but it also can build upon maybe who you did in the FC Founders 2. This Kolomani is extinct on the market right now because this is the Evo that almost everybody is doing from scratch as you can take a gold Kolomani and put him all the way up to an 86 with the FC Founders 2 that was just dropped and give him five star skills and then give him another plus two overall boost, getting him the 90 dribbling and 94 pace on his card. That is why his gold card right now on this game is extinct and not on the market so really the question is was this FC Founders 2 like supposed to be a totally different Evo and the FC Founders upgrade was planned all along to be how we were upgrading our initial FC Founders cards I'm not entirely sure we're probably never gonna know the answer but it's nice that we have two Evos and honestly I think I'm gonna use this FC Founders upgrade probably on whoever I put in the FC Founder 2, unless I'm going to do somebody as part of a chain with multiple evolutions, like the Rigoni card that I'm kind of interested in for this. But uh, yeah, this is, a, this is a straight up W. I mean, it's really easy to get done. It's honestly best used, as you can see over here on Footbin or on Foot.gg. It is best used in correlation with the FC Founders 2 evolution or your original's Founders Evo, um, but specifically the Founders 2, I think that like some of these cards that are in here, like the Rafa that they show, this card looks sick. 96 pace, 5 star skills, and 90 dribbling. Like the 5 star skills getting added to, uh, or the plus 1 skill moves getting added, is cr it's crazy. This brand new card from Team of the Week, Sabi, is able to be Evoed as well. He goes 5 star, 4 star. He's in League 1, 96 pace, and 90 dribbling. That's a very, very popular Evo right now, too. Now, speaking of evolutions, we had a team of the week yesterday that included a brand new center back that you can actually Evo inside of the team of the week Evo that was dropped just a couple days ago as well. And that is Rafael Varane. Now I'll show you the evolution. I, I Guys, I actually don't think that Varane is worth doing inside of this Evo. It does give his card a plus two boost and it's obviously an Evo Varane, so it's pretty sick. It's like another inform upgrade or another double inform upgrade on top of this Varane. But unless you pack the Varan inform like untradeable, what I would tell you to do is just buy the Thunderstruck because the Thunderstruck has better 
uh, or almost equivalent stats to the Evo Veron card, and it has better play styles, and honestly, it's about the same price. The Inform is 423,000 coins right now, which then, to do the Team of the Week upgrade, you'd have to pay 50k on top of that, so you're paying around 475,000 coins, which is 25k less than the, this card on the market. This card's got a better card design, in my opinion, so if you're thinking about if you're going to Evo Veron, I would only do that if you can pack him, but it is pretty crazy that he was in Team of the Week yesterday with the boost. Kim and Jay in same card great to trade with as well he's gonna drop off a good amount but bruiser plus play style for him is great and then alan st maximin in team of the week five star skills five star weak foot this card is going to have hype because this 86 flashback st max a lot of people maybe don't even have still uh because it was a flash sbc during black friday that this is a really really nice team of the week for him as well so kind of a decent team of the week not that insane but at least decent for the veron the kim and jay the saint max the osaman the sabi card i would say is pretty sick in there as well so that was yesterday's content for the most part of new stuff that dropped now one of the things that did drop yesterday and i'm gonna see if i can show it on the loading screen here and this is where we get into the conversation about today is a loading screen that ea dropped that i mean we were kind of talking about this guys when they released the road to the knockout cards that are impacts right now like usman dembele like osaman we were expecting more mini releases as the loading screens never just show for us now anymore it's crazy we were expecting some mini releases or some best of releases right during the holiday period that is confirmed this is one of the loading screens that is up right now i couldn't show you it because it went away so fast but it's triple threat thunderstruck and radioactive cards and check the timer guys these cards winter best of starts today these cards are coming back into packs today on thursday at the content drop time remember how many cards we had released in packs during black friday right we had like some trailblazers some road to the knockouts some other random promo cards it was a set of maybe like 15 to 20 cards I would expect it to be around the same for this winter best of today. Maybe it's 30 cards. I don't know what EA have in mind. It's only three different previous promos. So obviously you can't expect every single one of these promo cards from Triple Thread, from Radioactive or from Thunderstruck to be in, especially with like Thunderstruck being such a massive promo side. But of course, this has created a lot of panic on these cards on the market because people are like, oh my goodness, these cards might be in packs. I need to sell and get prepared because if they are, and as always, we know this, right? Anytime cards get re-released back into packs in a best of sort of scenario, they drop in price. Kavicha is down 100,000 coins. He was 550. Now he's 440K. Oshawala is down a lot. Taliska's down like 20,000 coins. Soboslai, Perisic. Like, I'm assuming there's going to be some low rated ones and some higher rated ones inside of this re-release. We just don't know who is in it yet, but those prices are gonna crash on whoever is put back into packs. Now, one thing I will say is, since EA is putting these cards in packs today, I would 100% expect them to be running lightning rounds. They ran lightning rounds yesterday, as expected, on a Wednesday. They almost always do. There was actually a, a good amount of lightning rounds. They dropped a hero pack in the store as well, Dynamic Duo Heroes pack. But like all these packs that are here, with the lightning rounds probably dropping again today with these new cards being added to packs, you still have the road to the knockouts. You still have the team, the group stage team that is in packs right now. EA is going to try to sell some packs today, and it actually is probably not going to be that bad of a day to open some packs. If you're trying to pack a team of the group stage player, if you value this over maybe what's upcoming for winter wild cards, you're adding those best of cards and packs today for specifically like rivals rewards. I'm going to save my rivals rewards for content today. Might as well, right? Because there's going to be more cards in packs. So that's really going to hurt whatever is in packs. Now, of course, if like, let's say this Sam Kerr, Sam Kerr is a rare card that has dropped off a ton in value in the past couple of days. Like yesterday alone, she went from 360K after that loading screen came out. She's now 300,000 coins. If she is not re-released in packs today, her card price is going to go up. Same thing for Mazrawi, Kavicha. Whatever is not re-released in packs, especially if it's a rare card and it's down a lot, or it's a pretty popular card, like this Taliska has been going up in price a little bit recently. He was 140,000 coins. Like A card like this, if it's not re-released, will probably have a little bit of a bounce back up in price. But I'm not investing a whole lot just yet because I feel like prices could tumble on in some areas again today it's just going to depend who ends up getting released 
and packs. So be very careful with that. But I wanted to spend some time talking about this because these are going to be cards that get re-released. They're going to put some top tier ones in. They're going to put some lower tier ones in. I'm so curious to see how many they drop today in this game as well. Now let's talk about more leaks for Winter Wild cards specifically. These are the first leaks besides the SBCs that EA posted about. These are Winter Wild card icons, guys. And we have a few of them that are leaked right now. But really, our question is arising around are these going to be in packs or are they going to be SBCs? Are they going to be maybe even in the season progress rewards? Hugo Sanchez, Yashin, we've got Raul. We've got Closa and we've got Birdcamp. So those are the only icons that are leaked right now. I have to imagine, guys, that these would be in packs. Now, the only reason why I mentioned some of those other areas, as you take a look at some of these icons, like Raul, that could be pr a pretty good card with the right boost. Yashin is going to be hyped. Hugo Sanchez with some pace. Kind of reminds me of like the team of the year icon, Hugo Sanchez, that we had last year as an SBC that a lot of people did. I remember doing that SBC. The reason why I mentioned Season Progress, though, guys, is... Uh, these card designs are actually, yeah, they're on the game. Winter Wild Cards Icon and Winter Wild Cards, they are already here. And since they're released so early, and since the new season starts today on Thursday, there's actually a decent shot that we could see Winter Wild Card items inside of, since we haven't had players inside of our season rewards, um, actually for at least the last two seasons. Um, I think that might be coming back potentially, right? So watch out for that today. That's a part of the season rewards that I'm most curious in. But those are the icons that we have leaked right now. And I would have to imagine that we would be having some more leaks in regarding to icons for winter wild cards that are coming here pretty soon as well. So watch out for more of those leaks today because there could be some more news. Now, let's talk about the market. Yesterday, we knew prices were dropping. We talked about prices dropping even further on Wednesday, and well, they did. I mean, if we're taking a look at some prices right now, cards like Vinny Jr., 389,000 coins. This is like basically the lowest it has been. Yesterday, he went from 416 down to 380. He's been bouncing around right around just the under 400,000 coin range. But other cards really took a hit yesterday, including Patrick Guijaro. And I think it was the lightning rounds. I think it was the loading screen and just the news of more cards coming into packs. She was very rare also, just being a mini release card. She went from 500,000 coins all the way down to 400K. I actually picked one up and just sold it right around 445 because it was just a rare card that had a fluctuation. And there was just, again, the the theme of the market yesterday, once again, was just prices dropping. Hansen, start of the day yesterday, 1.14, went all the way to 1.03, bounced back a little bit. Prices on almost all cards are still dropping, guys. But here's where it gets interesting, and here's what I want to talk about. Do we have the opportunity to invest in some cards pretty soon? And the answer might surprise you because... Last year around this time, and if you think about what has been happening over the past couple of weeks in this game, it has just been prices dropping left, right, and center almost everywhere, right? Everything has been going down. It may remind you of a period on the market that we had a little bit earlier this year called Black Friday, right? What happened this year during Black Friday? Well, Mbappe went from 3.1 mil, which is crazy to think that this gold card was 3.1 million coins. And that's almost how much his player of the month was. Anyways, he went down to 2.2 during Black Friday. Black Friday happens. The market actually rebounds afterwards, right? We talked about that a lot. A lot of you guys made coins off of that. You bought some teams around this low point. He went from 2.2 mil all the way back to almost 2.5, right? 2.43. And then we've been dropping like crazy since the beginning of December. And here we are with this massive drop that we've just been kind of watching over the past couple of weeks. Now, let me show you Mbappe's card from last year because... I really think that this is going to happen again this year to some degree. Mbappe last year from the start of December went from 1.06 million coins. He was a lot cheaper last year. All the way down to literally Christmas Day during the Winter Wild Cards promo. He went down to 718,000 coins. And into the first week of January, literally literally a week later, he goes from 718K all the way back up to 850,000 coins. Like this, this was his low point um, until like, again, team of the year. And then he went up after that. Like this happened a lot last year with a lot of cards, specifically on the lower tier. Look at this Dumfries from the uh, team of the tournament from the World Cup. He, would, he went out of packs and went down to 40,000 coins during Winter Wild Cards. But then right after that, 
exploded. As he was out of packs, he was like the best right back in the Serie A. I could show you so many examples, guys, of cards last year that were meta, that were popular, out of packs cards that weren't involved in that re-release that we're going to see, that we saw last year or that we're going to see today, right? Pedri last year went down to 144,000 coins. His lowest point was actually a couple days after Christmas, but he went from 140k all the way to basically 200,000 coins is his peak right before team of the year. We have this in the last couple of years where prices drop, drop, drop into kind of the holiday period, but you end up having a pretty nice market rise, not on everything, but on a lot of cards because you have a whole lot of new players coming into the game. So it's similar to Black Friday in the sense where you have a lot of people that have been selling, selling, selling. A bunch of packs are opened up. A bunch of people going out and playing the game when they're maybe at home, have a little bit more time over the holidays, and you see the demand rise, and all of a sudden, it's just a spike in prices, and prices go up. I think the exact same thing is going to happen this year because it happens almost every single year, but you're really going to have to pick the right cards, guys. I'm looking at Puteus. I'm looking at Van Dyke because these cards specifically are going out of packs. These are going to be very popular investments. A lot of people are going to look at VVD as the most popular center back in this game, and if you were getting the game in this time period, you're like, who, who am I going to add for a center back once I open some packs and get coins to my team? This is a card that a lot of people are going to invest in, right? Now, could he go lower today with all the lightning rounds that are going to be um, put out and all the packs and stuff like that because of the best of cards being released? Yeah, there's potential that he could go a little bit lower today. But for him going out of packs, that's going to be a, an investment that a lot of people will want to make. What I would tell you guys to do is do a little bit of research or maybe think about somebody that you want for your team. Look through the team of the group stage team. I feel like Cancelo is a very, very good option for a card that will most likely rise a bit out of packs because he's very meta. It's a big name player. And from his team, the group state squad, squad, he is one of the most popular cards, right? Foden is a card that I have my eye on. Uh, Klaus, Gravenberch potentially as well. But guys, notice when I'm talking about these cards, the cards that I'm looking at are some of the cheaper ones, right? Zaha would be a card that I would put my uh, I would put my eye on as well. Soboslag, Gavardiol, even Christian Eriksen, Perisic. Like those are cards that I would watch if they're not re-released in packs because they are on the cheaper edge of things. And when I went back and looked at a lot of card prices last year, the ones that did the best, apart from the top tier meta, like we looked at Mbappe, the ones that did the best were the cheaper ones. Let's look at Vinny's gold card from last year in FIFA 23. Um, dropped off all the way down here towards Christmas. He went to a low point of 20,000 coins. He didn't go up that much, right? It's a 25, 20 to 25,000 coin rise for an 86 rated card like Vinny. You have to be careful with the golds. But this year, I feel like we have enough top tier meta golds like the Mbappe. We've got Graham Hansen at 300,000 coins. We've got the Puteas that I just looked at. Uh, we've got the Vinny this year that's very expensive. Neymar would be a card that I would 100% expect to have some good movements. I mean, he's gone from 128K from the beginning of this month all the way down to 58,000 coins. So like Neymar, I don't know how low he's going to go. He's gonna, obviously going to be in packs um, unless they re-release his Thunderstruck, which would make him an even better investment. But like maybe you see 52, 53,000 coins, maybe even 55K for Neymar ends up being a really good investment because people that get the game on lower budgets will be going out and buying players for teams. So that is kind of what I wanted to show you guys today in this video is that it's going to be very similar to Black Friday for a lot of cards, in my opinion, that cards will drop, drop, drop. And then they, like they have been, and then they will rebound. Go back and do a little bit of research. Road to the Knockout cards are a great example of cards that did amazing after Black Friday this year, after a rise back, um, after the promo was out. I would also take a look at some Trailblazers cards just for, again, a little bit of reference to see like, hey, what cards did really, really good last um, time we had this big crash? Robertson went down from 200K to, to 185, went right back up. He did come back down again, but like, you know, that's just go and do a little bit of research, find some more recent promo cards, maybe some dynasties that have dropped off a lot in this last week. Be careful. Maybe you don't buy your cards again right now, but just keep an eye on them between today, between tomorrow, between this weekend. That's kind of the buy time. It's going to be different for every single card, which is why it's really hard to say you got to buy today or you got to buy tomorrow. It's going to be different, but the out of packs cards will rise first. So that's the big point that I want to make. There are some market rises incoming for some cards. So get smart, 
do us a little research. If you want to buy a player for your team, could be a decent time to do that if it's a meta out of packs player, because the market should be doing a lot better in the next week or two than it has been for almost the whole entire month of December. Now, speaking of the market, we have one kind of compensation update, specifically with Van Dyke. It, it means a lot for his card. Um, there was compensation, the whole Euro situation yesterday, guys. I don't know if you saw Usman Dembele's price on the market, but this card went from like 600,000 coins all the way down to 510K. He got supplied yesterday, guys. Remember, we said it wouldn't happen for a couple of days. Everybody who packed the Euros version of Dembele or Grealish or VVD on, um, on Monday of this week, the 18th, uh, they compensated already, guys, which was crazy. So those tradable cards, a lot of the Usman Dembele's were put onto the market, and his card dropped a lot, of course, right? This one was in packs, and it wasn't supposed to be. Uh, same with VVD and Grealish and Chiesa and all those guys. So EA did that compensation yesterday, which was crazy to see them do it so fast, but that's a GG. Uh, that might have been one of the fastest fixes ever. So if you're wondering why Usman Dembele dropped, it is because that compensation did end up happening. Now, one thing I want to talk about is Thursday content today. And I want to make this video 30 minutes again like yesterday's was, so we'll try to get through it fast. But one of the reasons I want, if you're interested in buying Mbappe, one of the reasons I want you to watch this price today is because Mbappe's Player of the Month is expected to come out today finally. There was a tweet from one of the leakers who did say he expects it to be today. It was in his replies. It wasn't a very popular tweet. But Thursday's our days in the past where League One Play of the Month has come out. Honestly, the last one came out on a Wednesday for Mbappe. We still don't know 100%, but today is the day that is expected. And if Mbappe's Player of the Month does drop, I think that might end up making this gold card start to rise back up a little bit because he's dropped off like 200K in the last two days. And I think it's because we're just waiting for that POTM to come out. I think the Player of the Month SBC still, guys, is going to be 4.5 million coins. It's going to be very, very expensive. And if you invested for it and if you're, you're ready... And hoping to see a fodder market rise on those cards. I mean, it's possible, but it's going to have to be a decent price for Mbappe today, in my opinion. Um, and have a lot of 89 rated squads, maybe inside of it, to really make fodder move today. I just feel like fodder would go up a little bit, but not a ton. And one of the things that does worry me, again, is the packs that are in the code, guys. There are some crazy packs that are in the code, like we looked at in yesterday's video. That 88 times 11, which is like the ultra or elite wild card pack, whatever it's called. It's not even in here. Uh, I don't think. The, the 23, 2023 historical encore pack is in this pack code update, though. That's where it guarantees you one of the promo cards. Also an 84 times 20. There's an 81, 100 pack that's been added to the code. Um, winter wild cards, 50 rare golds, 80 plus. Includes one winter wild cards item. Here's an elite. Oh, this is the one. Elite wild cards guarantee pack. No, that's not the one. That's three wild cards, 82 or 86 or above, and then 20 rare golds, 85 and 85 times 20 in that pack. That's crazy. This is the ultra wild card pack. I missed it. It was on the first page. Three wild cards, 87 or above, and 88 times 11. I think it is saying here at the bottom that all items are untradeable, but still, it's a lot of fodder that's going to be given out on the top tier. So we'll just have to see. I'm a little bit worried about these store packs, but again, I do believe that if you're going to see a fodder market rise for an Mbappe SBC, it's going to be on the 88s and above. So that's that. I think that SBC will be today. Also on Thursdays, we always see marquee matchups. No surprise with that. And uh, of course, the best of, right? The loading screen. Once again, once we see who is in this, we'll probably see some movements on the market. Some cards going back up. Might be some flipping opportunities. And then, of course, whoever is in will be going down. Guys, these cards, they come into packs tomorrow. We'll look at more Winter Wild Cards leaks and what we expect after a crazy day today in tomorrow's video. The last thing we could maybe see today is Brahim Diaz was leaked as the Pundit Pick SBC. And actually, this SBC could be really good. His base gold card is five-star weak foot, four-star skills. Could be a really, really nice SBC if given the proper boost. He's got a couple of really good Evo cards as well. Um, so that's something to watch out for. It might be today, might not be today. And then, of course, we already kind of mentioned it in passing, but the new season is going to be coming today. Watch out for maybe players and the rewards, new packs, the XP grind. I'm trying something a little bit different here. I've saved some of my XP, group XP. So, like, I've got maybe not quite a 1,000, maybe. I don't even know. Between all this stuff, maybe right around a 1,000 XP. We'll see if it carries forward for me today. I'm not expecting it to, but 
we'll give it a shot, right? Um, but we do have a new season. Maybe check Champs Rewards as well. Let's see if they update those. Let's see if we get any news or information along those lines as well. And uh, yeah, guys, it's going to be a crazy day today. Again, like I mentioned, it feels like it's just right before Black Friday where you had the best of re-released the day before Black Friday. It's a best of today as well. It's going to be a decent day to open packs. 84 times 5. I know informs are in the mud because there were, an, were not any new SBCs to come out to make informs go up and investors are kind of selling. So I think informs are like 33,000 coins or they were right around 33K. Yeah, they still are. If we don't get any new SBCs today that require informs that are hyped like a pack, they might not go back up. We'll just have to see. Um, but we could get more upgrade packs today as well because, again, new cards are in packs. And I think even on uh, the last time we Black Friday with Thunderstruck, we had upgrade packs on that Thursday. So I'm expecting a pretty big get, uh, day of content today, guys. And uh, check your check your clubs for this guy as well, Park Jung Bin. He was literally 700 coins on stream. Somebody in the stream found that his Evo was cracked and he's now extinct because you can put him through like six evos and he becomes a card with like 99 passing or something absolutely disgusting insane card links to the chunmin son with the nationality link and uh i'm still searching for Ragoni because i'm pretty much locked in on doing his evo linking to messi if i'm ever able to pack a messi i hope they put radioactive messi in packs today that'd be sick but uh that's kind of my evo situation right now i'm kind of waiting for some of that to be take place in my club before i can maybe go and start those evos but it's gonna be a crazy thursday today guys if you want to watch it with us we're going to be streaming live looking at all the content seeing what comes out and of course watching the market moving there and opening some packs as well and having some fun but if you're excited for that and excited for winter wild cards drop a thumbs up on the video today comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new see you guys in twitch stream today it's been nathan for the peace out